We are on a city tour today. One, we are visiting Dr. Kwame Nkrumah's mausoleum. As we are getting closer, I'm going to talk about the place. From there, we also visit the art center or craft shop. It's the largest souvenir market we have in Accra. From there, we'll drive past the second largest square in the world, the Black Star Square. And then we'll go to George Padmore's library, and then from there we'll drive back to the hotel. So this is what we're going to do for the day. Medasi, thank you. Now, because of where you are, or where you were, and where you are now, there is always a cultural difference that you need to know. Something that will be appealing to you over there might not be appealing to someone here. Something that you've been doing over there regularly might not be things that they do here. So you need to be abreast with those trends. One, people over here in Ghana refer to sizes. Someone sees me and say, hey, look at that tall guy. It's just a complimentary. It's not an insult. Hey, look at that slim girl. It just has nothing to a Ghanaian. Or he said, oh, this lady is too fat. Or this lady is called, there is a name, you call Obolo. Obolo means someone who is fat. It's just a complimentary. It's not an insult. Especially if you are married and then they see that you know physically you are changing you are you are you are i don't want to use the word blues but you are growing fat they say yeah you are making it in life you are prospering and that is that is good and when they see that you are you are not you know you are growing lean they will come to you what is happening why are you growing lean you know so we'll be talking about others oh i got into a place i need to stop oh and then now there is a runabout ahead of us and it's called african liberation runabout yeah. african liberation square uh we will go around about two or three times today being au day i that is coming this is the african liberation square this was created by Dr. Nkrumah, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. Any African country that gets independence, when Dr. Kwame Nkrumah was alive, he comes here, there's going to be a program here. Oh, good. That is only right. Hey. So this is African Liberation Square. Oh, so Dr. Kwame Nkrumah comes to host that country's flag here. And it was, at that time, it was a very big, big, big ceremony that takes place. And we still do such a thing. Today being AU Day, uh, you see that uh, there's going to be a program there. This area is called Ridge. Ridge, when the British were here, those are some of the areas that the British were living. Okay, we'll go around again. We'll go around again. Thank you, for talking. Okay. Now, look at the type of buildings that are here. Those were built by the British, but we still use it. And this is one of the areas that the British were living. There is a, a hospital just around the corner. It's known as the Ridge Hospital. Ridge. Yeah. Ridge. R I D G E. Oh, oh, now, um, now it's called Greater Accra Regional Hospital. Oh, nice. It wasn't like this. This place um, was a place that the British built a, a clinic and later made it a hospital. And that, it is only the British and the expatriates 
that were attending their health care here. And that is the old building over there. Yeah. And that's the old building. In those days, no Ghanaian, no black supposed to come here. Really? When they were in power. But right now, uh, when we had independence, Dr. Kwame Nkuma had to drive all of them away. Yeah. And now it's in the hands of the Now, coming up, coming up on your right is also a small runabout, but in the middle of the runabout, uh, there is a statue. It's when the bus move, you will see. We all know the good work that the nurses are doing to save mankind. So, in two, two, in the year two thousand, uh, our president, our former president, that's coming on on your right. Uh, dedicated us to the nurses for their dedicated work to mankind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And thus a rich runabout. What are they building over here? Come again. That building. Just oh, that building. Oh, that building is an office. Oh. Office here. Yeah. And then uh, coming up on your on your right is the uh, YMCA. We all know YMCA, and then uh, YWCA also is just down there. In between the YMCA and YWCA, we have we have a mentally deranged hospital that is on your right. Uh, we call it mental hospital. <laughs> Doctor says that, but it's so funny, and this was made by the British that between the YMCA and YWCA in the middle, we have two important things. Mentally deranged hospital and then a Roman Catholic. And who? Roman Catholic Church. Oh. That Roman Cathedral ah, Roman is just ahead of us. Right. Roman Cathedral. Yeah. This was built in 1940. 1940. And uh, it's still in the colonial building. And they still use it. There are uh, mentally handicapped people. Uh, uh, they have their hospital, everything in there. And According to doctors, they said once in the life of every human being, um, you know, you have a mental uh, 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 breakdown. Yeah, exactly. That's what they say. Well, we were saying that mental hospital. They said, no, 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 we shouldn't call it mental. I took some doctors out and I said, uh, a mental hospital. One of them said, no, it's not mental. It's called mentally deranged. <laughs> mentally deranged. So this is a Polish word. It's just a Polish word. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>